Hello, finally, SQL Server 2025. I could download and install it last night, but I was sleeping. So today I am going to talk about SQL Server new version. Why did I say part one? Because we have faced so many different, different things. So in one video, I'm not able to even introduce or talk about the titles. So I said part one. First of all, in this video, I want to download, install, show you the whole environment and then since these things are a little bit easy I want to go for vector data type since if I just talk about on PowerPoint presentation you get bored let me go for installation showing you something in real then come back to PowerPoint and talk about vector data type again and then go to new version of SSMS management studio to see what is going to happen so let's go for someone who wants to deal with SQL Server it's obvious that finding this page is not a big deal. Just find it and install. But, as usual, after installing the database engine, you can't do anything. You need management studio, the latest version. I have downloaded, I have installed everything, so, I want to show you this version, this, 21. Let's go. Everything is ready. This is my SSMS version. And if I fire this TSQL line, you will see we are dealing with SQL Server 2005. Okay? So things are okay. I can close this. Now, as I said, I want to go back to my presentation and introduce the first nice incredible version or I can say feature in this new version let's go okay vector data type I could simply go create a new table uh, and add a vector data type as a column and do something and go finish but since I want to show you something real meaningful and useful for somebody who wants to watch this video let me go a little bit deeper like this imagine we have some animals birds something like that if I want to store their data, I can say I have a chart or dimensional table, something like that here. Image A. The animal is brown. Okay. Medium size. Here. The other one is black. A small size. The other one is white. Large size. 
The other one is again black, but large size. This is the way that we can deal with vector data. Okay? This is something that just added to SQL Server new version. Look at this. All of the things that you have seen these days about LLMs and such things are coming from vector embedding. See, content, application, whatever, make a query against the embedding model, goes to such things. Then, as a query, it goes to a vector database. The result goes to the application like this this is a long story this is not easy this means mass if you don't want to blindly get something or tool or whatever on api to do these things you should read a lot of books but i am trying to just introduce and leave Vector databases. Data type, vector data. A structure, multidimensional. Optimized for AI and machine learning. Search method, similarity search. Traditional databases needs query. Transactional data. Rows and columns, scalar data. Okay? So this means SQL Server new version is capable to deal with vector data, which is good. Okay? Let's go. Vector databases are capable to Efficient similarity search. This is a big deal. High dimensional data. Deal with machine learning and AI. Very good for real time application. The problem is that if I want to talk about these things, it would be a very, very long story. But since I showed you something like this, I want to make a real scenario in SQL Server about something like that, not animals, about books, articles, something like that. So let's go and do something real. This is SSMS. If I want to define a variable like this, with this new data type, I can. See? Variable name, the type is vector 3. Why 3? What is this number? The number of dimensions. See? Yek, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> I was going to say the number in Persian. I wanted to say yek. No. One, two, three. And then if I say select that variable name, it would be like this. See? Okay. So the meaning of dimensions is going to apply here. If I create a new database, for example, you can see the new data type also here. See? Like this, vector. So the data type is working every, everywhere 
in the new version of Visual Studio and SSMS and all the things related to SQL Server 2025. Okay. If I want to deal with a stored procedure, no problem. Like any other type, you can. Slowly, slowly, things are getting more serious. I have created a new database, Vector Search DB, like this. It's here. And then, articles table. Article ID, title, summary, and embedding, which has four dimensions. See, four, like this. Okay. The DB is created. The table also is already created. Let's come here. I want to store data. Intro to AI, the cover, the embeddings, the other one, the other one, like this. So after running this TSQL insert command, I would have something like this. Okay? There is a question in, be in between. From where? Do we get these dimensional datas? As I said, we need something external. You should install something local or you need to use something like OpenAI or something like that. That's why I said this is a long story. And then, see, if I want to make a query, to find similar articles to the first and second one, the query should be like this. This vector distance does the job. See? Vector distance does the main job for us. But, Let's have a look here. Why should I say this, 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 and this? From where do I get these numbers? As I said, you should use something external, as I have shown you in the presentation also. But just let me say something. See? I got something like an average. These two are so close to each other. See? That's why that external API should give me something like this. There is a philosophy at the behind of these numbers. But we are not able to talk about these things in this video. It would be a long story. But as you can see, it can simply find the similarity between these two title and article. Even if you look at here, the similarity of the numbers for something related to cooking is too far from these two. Okay, so now we are equipped with a very strong engine to deal with vector data in SQL Server. I will show you more things about new version of SQL Server in the next videos. Thank you so much. Bye.